All right, my friend. So uh, someone writes in, and I, I don't. She didn't say I couldn't use her name, so I'm not going to use her name. We'll call her Brenda, but it's not Brenda. Uh, she writes in from Massachusetts, six one seven area code six one seven. Um, it, it, she asked a couple questions, but uh, she asked about waiting to take Social Security and whatnot, and I'll email her directly on that later on. But uh, the one thing she says is pretty interesting. By the way, Fidelity four hundred one k planning tool says I'll be fine. In an average market over 35 years with withdrawals uh, claiming Social Security at 65, uh, but doesn't do tax planning. Um, okay, here's my, oh man, I've done so many videos. I haven't done one for at least six months on financial planning software and why I can't stand it. Um, because what are they, what's the inputs? What's the inputs? Um I have no idea if Fidelity's using e-money and I, I don't know if they, I just, I don't know what that, that's what they use for their, uh, I, I know Fidelity bought e-money. I don't know if that's what they're using on their software, but we, we, I, are the inputs using average rates of returns? That's what it sounds like. She says, I, I don't think I, I take huge issue with this. In fact, I take huge issue with Vanguard because Vanguard's financial planners, the personal advisory service, uses average rates of return from the last, I mean, since 1926. Yet their own Vanguard Capital's market group, they don't show that. So the, the same VCMM, Vanguard Capital's market, I forgot what the M stands for, the other M. Anyway, VCMM, yeah, yeah, VCMM or VCCM, yeah, whatever. It's Vanguard's Capital Market something. They use in their PSS, the Personal Advisory Services, average rates of return from historic but then their own VCMM projections are well below, well below historic rates of return. But yet they're using historic rates of return to show what their client. Look, I got my head on like, <laughs> I went like that. I got my, look, hey. <laughs> Hi, Pablo. Thanks for being the armrest. Oh, I love that guy. Hey, look at him. Hello, handsome. Oh, see how he's looking up. Oh, hi, Pablo. Look, he's going to look up at me. Hello. No, I guess he won't. I guess he knows he's an odd joke. Anyway, good boy. And so, for, so Vanguard's their their own group is using forward returns that are horrifically low. But that's not what their PSS shows. Fidelity, uh, Brenda says, and again, it's not Brenda. An average market return over thirty five years. I, what? Man, you can't use I, I look, you can do whatever people do whatever they want. I don't blame her. I just said the input. So let me again for the thousandth time, and I wouldn't expect anyone here to know this, but I'm gonna say it till I'm blue in the face. When I was at USAA, there was a time and it friggin' ticked me off something wicked. This is where I knew I knew the day was short for me in the business because we a few of us argued, say you can't use these returns. Anyway, long story short, everyone was coming out at hundred percent. Everyone was. And everyone was like, oh, that's great. Uh, it, it was crazy. But then if you looked at it, you're saying, how come? And the, the issue was in a moderately conservative portfolio, maybe been a conservative portfolio, basically a 2080 portfolio, they had a 6.5% rate of return. Because cash, they had given 4.5%. Why? Because they're using cash based on historical norms or whatever. I could, and we're sitting there thinking, this, re, this, this is bad. This right here is bad. It's crap. Because it's junk in and junk out. And yet, for me to have said something put me in the uh, the crosshairs of the USA management team. Because they didn't want to hear it. They said, no, you just do the reports. You just do them. And if you don't do the reports, you're fired. I said, but the reports are crap. And they, they ultimately changed to uh, Money Guy Pro. But it took about a couple years. And they, we had a new boss, that guy. The other guy got fired. And he went on to another investment firm. Which is, fr the freaking thing is such a, it's, it's, it's bad. Anyway, long story short. You got to look at the inputs, Brenda. Are the inputs historical averages? Because it looks like it is. All right, what's Fidelity's uh, projections going forward? I, I don't know. I just know Vanguard's are crap compared to what their historical norms are. So just because they say you're fine, I don't care. I don't care. And she did ask to use the right capital software, and I'm going to give her access to it for the 150 bucks I charge. But remember, I use 1% cash, 3% bonds, 7.5% stocks. Well below, well below, I guarantee what Fidelity's using. I don't guarantee, I don't know. But my presumption would be well below what Fidelity's using, well below what Vanguard Personal Advisory Services are using, well below what everybody's using. 
because everyone else is using it uh, to over assume returns. And I'm saying, no, 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 I want to err on the side of caution. So be careful. All right, thanks, Dan.